Good boy. This is today's harvest of tomatoes in our laundry basket. It's kind of dark out here, but. Ta da! Beautiful dog! Come on! Let's go show everyone our medicine wheel garden, shall we? Oh, you're gonna be good now? Okay, you're such a camera whore. Come on! My normal garden, we yanked out 12, the 12 Cherokee tomatoes, Cherokee purple tomatoes. I let it get very weedy, but the 12 Cherokee purples had to go. They were done. That was it. They're not terribly uh, prolific in a, if you want to can things, so next year they're not even going to be an option. And I ripped half of that out because, well, it's the end of the season here in New York. Corn's still going. We're almost done with that, though. And here, I just weeded this today because these beauties were getting overrun. But they're looking lovely. Hi, Murray. Hi. But they're doing good. Comfrey. Doesn't mind being macheted back. It's, it's happy. But my, uh, hopefully, my prairie waskas are doing good. And I've got a bunch of seeds. I'll plant more next year to get out here. I want this, this entire thing just completely full of these basically and the arrow oh and <laughs> a little bit of catnip it came back naturally there and there and like I didn't the weeds were covering it and my one cat was out here rubbing on this one almost killing it and salivating all over the place but it's lovely look at that it's a beauty. One, two, three. So I've got, I've got four in this one. One over there. One over there. Because the comfort gets so big, I'll just have to keep cutting it back every year. And then four in this one. So delightful. Murray! 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 <whistles> Yoo-hoo! Murray, come on! Murray, I know, I can, I know, people are shooting. Oh my gosh, guns. There's the sound of gunfire in the distance. So that happens when you live in the country. People shoot guns at targets. All right, my uh, extremely weedy garden, forgive me. My peppers, like, there's a pepper, but it's so small, it's tiny. They're having issues. Not a lot of peppers going out here. And, like, whatever this is, I think, I don't know. This is not normal. This stuff. Oh, there's a couple down in there. Ooh, there's a good one. And my butternut squash, I don't know why they're flowering. I mean, they're fall crops, but I've already got... Ooh! There's... I've got an orange pepper. That's what this was supposed to be. Yay! It's not perfect. It's a little flawed. It will taste delightful nonetheless. Look at... Look at these beasties. They're... Okay. There's my hand. They're ginormous. They're big. There's another one over there growing. If you can see it down in there. Oh, there's one. I, for, 
I completely forgot about my potatoes in here, so I can't eat. I let the weeds grow up, and I don't even know where the potato plants are. They're, I'm sure the tubers are fine underground. They'll be fine, but I'll have to come out and dig them up after we finally harvest. Oh, there's another butternut. This little guy. That's a shorty. Shorty! Oh, look at that. Just going to show my husband this, but... I think he went inside. Uh, these cranberry beans, we need to harvest these. Look at the turkey purples, they're all rotten, going crazy. Oh, I just stepped on one of it. <laughs> it got me. It got me, flip up. Okay, that's gross. But look at these lovelies. You see that? I set them on my sun porch and they dry out and then we shell them and we've got dried delicious lovely beans and that that's just quote-unquote a weed but it's common mallow and it's very good for colds and stuff of that nature but I've got all these these green cayennes that one's almost red They'll be lovely. This is more of the burning going on on the leaves that I don't understand what's happening. These, these are having issues. My dead dill, but I let that come back every year because I love it. And these, these were cranberry beans, but we picked all of them except for the few that were still green. We left them do what they need to do and then I've got all these habaneros like how freaking amazing is that they're green they're supposed to be orange when they're ripe and they'll get there hopefully but it's gorgeous and my few tomatoes that we still got a batch to can up and hopefully these will ripen up and we'll can them as well. And then we'll be good to go.